Here's a stunning statistic. According to advocates, four out of five women with some kind of physical or mental disability will be the victim of sexual abuse. Today, a legal victory for them at the Supreme Court. Lori Graham has that for us tonight. Carmilla Hutchison lives with physical and mental disabilities and the knowledge that women like her are vulnerable. Sometimes a lack of awareness about what actually constitutes abuse or that what's happening to them shouldn't be happening. Take the case of a 19-year-old woman who had the intellectual capacity of a young child. She told her teacher that her mother's boyfriend touched her genitals and breasts. She called it the hugging game. The teacher believed her, but when it went to court a few years ago, the judge didn't because he said she couldn't understand what it meant to tell the truth. Even convicted perjurers um, who have in the past been found to have lied on the stand and convicted for doing so are not subjected to an inquiry as to whether or not they understand what an oath or an affirmation means. Today, the Supreme Court of Canada overruled the lower court, saying adults with mental disabilities need to know the difference between the truth and a lie, and know they should tell the truth without being able to explain what telling the truth means in abstract terms. What this decision means is that women with mental disabilities are now treated like any other witness that comes before the court. They, provided they can explain what happened to them. But this criminal lawyer worries that explanation may not be credible. And if the person they're cross-examining is not capable of understanding a promise, not capable of understanding the difference between truth and a lie, you've really reduced their ability to test that witness's reliability, if not credibility. In the case of that 19-year-old, she's now 26, and she will get her day in court for a retrial. But this time, the judge will decide if she's telling the truth after she testifies, not before. Lori Graham, CBC News, Ottawa.